Hi guys, welcome to our channel. If you're new to this channel, we're glad to have you here. And to our subscribers that's always there, thank you guys so much for coming back and thank you guys for joining me. For today's video, I'll be making a champagne glass. And all the materials will be in the description down below. So with that said, we need cardboard. So any cardboard that you have in your house. So what I did is I used the balloon sizer. This is actually 14 inches circumference. So I just put it there and then trace it with your pen right there. After you trace that, as you can see, I got it right here. Now I just need to cut. There. So after you cut this, you need four of this, all right? And then paste them or glue them together. So here I got, I already have three of this. So we'll glue the fourth one here. So I use my glue gun. There you go, so it's nice and thick. There's four of them right there. All right, so now we also need our board right here, or what I call this, a tubing, a cardboard tube. This came from our um, Christmas gift wrap at the very bottom, okay? So you can use any cardboard and then shape it like this. Okay, roll it down like that. And then this is actually 24 inches. Okay, put this in the center right here. And again, we will need your glue gun then glue it right on the center. And then we'll just have to let it dry. All right, so it's now dry. So we will put that on the side. So we need our 260 balloon. So it will inflate this. But before we inflate this, make sure you stretch. So I pump air, leaving a little on the tip. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna wrap this with our 260 boat balloon. So wrap it right here, just enough. What we're gonna do is, you fold this, pinch and then twist. This one, put it right here. Stick it right in between, just like that. So now wrap this on here. And once you're done, you will then again pinch and twist and then connect this together. Just like that. So after you do this, you will make a pinch and then you twist it again, okay? Pinch and twist, just a little like about two finger. And do the same thing, you fold this, twist, that again, fold, pinch, and then twist. So this time you wrap it this way. Of course you can see there's one, two, you fold this way, and then you do the same thing, you pinch, and then you twist. So you twist this here. This will be on the back side, like that. Okay. So do the same thing, you pinch and then twist. And then you fold, pinch, and then twist. Then wrap this here. So pinch and twist, and then attach this together. So too much pressure right here, so I'm gonna cut this here.
Okay, just like that for now. All right, so now we got this on. So we'll work on the base here. So I have 260 already inflated. So leave a little on the tip. So we'll cover this here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach this on the very first bubble we have for beads. And then just wrap this here. So the same thing, you pinch and then twist. And then connect right here. Then continue this on. And then connect it here again. Just like that. And then we need another, another layer. Okay. So to keep it flat, I'm going to use our balloon glue dots or two sided tape. Another 260 balloon. So this time I'm gonna fold it like this, pinch and twist, stick this in here. Okay, see how it is right here at the end. I'm gonna put this right on here and then just wrap it around. I'm gonna pinch and twist again. And once you do this, connect this here. And put it right on there. So I'll cut the excess. So again, you need more glue dots. Okay guys, so far. All right, so now we just need another layer here. So we need another 260 to complete the, the very base of our champagne glass. So you want to make sure that it completes the circumference right here. So try this. Since this is the last layer, I don't need to fold and twist. So I'm just gonna wrap it right here. I'm gonna pinch and twist and then connect this here. See that guys? So now I just add this. So stay in place. All right, so our base is now complete. You can see. So we just have to continue the whole um, post right here. Continue on here, we'll connect this to. Connect this to first right here. So after you connect, since we already have this, remember you wanna Make a pinch and twist. So only one, and then fold this here. Pinch and twist again. 
So now grab it right here. Pinch and twist. Connect this here. It's like what you do on the bottom. So continue this on until you get to the top. Right, so we'll continue on. So attach this one right here. So remember, we need to make a pinch and then twist. After you do this, hold, pinch and then twist. So about two or one finger. Okay, and then wrap this around the post. And then once you get enough to cover the one you wanna pinch, and then twist. Once you do that, wrap this here. So if you can, you wanna line this up. So that will show on the back side like this. Okay, so back. Again, I'm gonna put it sideways, so pinch and twist, as you can see, then you fold it, you pinch and then twist again, like that, wrap this around, just enough where you, you know, connect, you pinch and then twist, as you can see, and you wrap this here, like that so do the same thing until as I said until you get to the end See right here, so much pressure. You don't want the, you don't want to continue that one. So cut this off. So before we continue on to the last two layers right here, we need to have the glass right here. All right, so you also need your um, cardboard right here. So I don't have a big cardboard. So what I did is I spliced them all together. This is actually re recycled material from the Christmas tree that I made from the previous video that you can see right there. So I actually recycled them and um, tore it down and now I spliced it back together. So anyway, the size of this is we have 42 inches and right here is 30 inches, okay? So you need your clear tape to 
attach them together. So remember we're making a cone shape. So there you go guys, there's our funnel. And then we'll put this right on here. Okay, we'll put it right here and so again we use our glue gun. All right, so finally it's not dry so we can continue on working our balloon here going here and then all the way up there so continue on with our 260 balloon again stretch So we are done with the post right here. So now we'll continue on going up there. Okay. So on the very base right here, so in order for this to stay on your base, on your uh, cardboard right here, I use an extra support using our clear tape. So it's not gonna come off. All you need to do is add it right here. You know, stick in there for a while. All right, guys, let's continue on. Now we're gonna start here going up. So the same. that until you get to the end. Almost done, guys. We're almost to the very end. So basically, we will tie this together. Then I need one more layer. This one here. Put it on top. And then you will tie. Put it right here. So at the very end, I'm gonna use our balloon glue dots. I glue it on here.
So all we need to do is cut the excess right here so it's nice and clean. All right guys, so this is it. This is finally done. This is our balloon champagne glass. So at the back right here, you can see it lined up right there. So now, like that. So if you look at the very top right here, I also added the tape right here so it's securely attached to your champagne glass. So it's not gonna come off. So to complete the look, we will add some bubbles in there. So I have some five inches clear and five inches latex white balloon. In order for us to um, save some five inches balloon, I will put a big balloon right in the middle. So I'll put this right in there. So in order for this to stick in, we'll use our clear tape. So that way you don't need to waste a lot of five inches balloon. So this time we'll inflate some of our five inches. So I actually inflated some. Alright, so we'll put this down so you'll be able to see. Just put this here. Alright, there you go. So we'll just have to arrange them and again we'll use our blue blue dots so they'll be connected. Let it overflow onto the side. So in order to do that, we'll use our again balloon glue dots. Alright guys, this is it. This is finally done. If you want to know what's the height for this, this is actually Without the bubbles, it's three and a half feet. With the bubble, bubbles, it's about four and a half to five feet tall. All right, guys. So I hope you learned something from this video today. If you do, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. It will really help our channel grow and share it to your friends. This is actually perfect for any special occasion like wedding, um, anniversary, or engagement party. But this would be perfect for your New Year's Eve party, an additional background. So if you want to check this out for our next vlog, I will use this and add more de additional decoration for our party and we'll use this. Alright, we'll give you some ideas on how we use this for your party or special occasion. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, thank you so much and we'll see you guys in the next video. Once again, this is Femme and Hawaii. Take care and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.